Well, hello, it's me, Craig Howe. <laughs> I'm back at the easel again, just going to go over a small little area on the worksheet and then going to show you a progression of steps getting me to the finished, if not mostly finished, watercolor pen and ink. Let's go. So we left off last episode with me starting to transfer all the line work to the good paper. But as I'm doing that, I still look at this and there was still a problem area. And it was this pedal right here. It just seemed like it was just too much weight to this one side. And no matter what I did over here, I, I just couldn't get it right. So I stopped and, and got out my pencils and my trusty eraser and started to work with it again for over the next few minutes, over the next half an hour, hour. And I finally came up with something to design. And this is what it is right here. I like it. <laughs> now granted, it's an odd type of design onto this whole thing as a pedals. And I might get some of these, what does he mean by that? <laughs> but I still like it and it's still gonna stay. So with that, now I'm gonna start to show you the whole inking process to get us to the finished painting. Okay, as you can see, I've got it all transferred to the good paper. I've even started to put in ink work onto the petals and the sphere. Uh, that way I can start putting my dot work in as I'm working ink work into the other areas. Uh, I'm still keeping my little helper, my center point helper here, just in case as I get everything else inked in, I don't need to put in another radius someplace. And then I'll take this off as I start putting the watercolor in. So now on to progression of this going from here to finish. Okay, I'm back after two weeks of making dots, lots of dots. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the position of this paper, the visual. Uh, you, what you've been seeing with the progress clips is in this landscape position because it worked best for the camera. But I'm gonna switch it around so you can see the position it's supposed to be in. So now I've got it in the vertical position, the way I would hang it. But if you buy it, you can hang it any way you want. Anyhow, I've got all my radiuses in. Uh, every all the inkings finished dots are finished so which means that now I can take off this little uh, pinhole helper here and drum roll okay and here we go ta-da and a second ta-da And I'll see you over the drafting table for what's next. So to get ready to finish up this episode, a few notes. Uh, first, the pedals. And these guys. I need to finalize the designs that go inside of those pedals. Uh, these right here. I'm still making some alterations, some deletions, and replacements uh, before I transfer the designs to the final paper. And then start the watercolor. The watercolor. <laughs> And then there's this right here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking a moment to work on a layout. I still have to get ready for a uh, August 1st Friday pop-up art show and selecting and getting the artwork ready, of which, if I work really hard, <laughs> this is going to be one of them. Uh, that's my objective. And last, and last, but not least, <laughs> dots. Lots of dots. I had joked last episode about there being 500,000 plus some dots that were going to be in this drawing. Well, I, I, that's not true. <laughs> but I did some counting. I did some figuring. Uh, I did some measuring and some calculating, more calculating and more calculating to find a rough estimate. <laughs> and there are... 87,000 plus or minus dots in that drawing. 
if you care. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank my third twin brother for sitting in and doing a drum roll. Thank you, Lucas. <laughs> and with that, uh, tune in next episode of uh, Designs and Watercolor. See where I'm going with that. And until then, take care, everyone. Thank you for stopping in the view. Uh, Craig out. <laughs> bye bye.